<laughs> it's a uh, euphoric. Great word. It's exercise and and uh, and fun. It's the speed of the, the self-generated speed. It just, it's just you and a board and there you are going full speed. Not like having to pay $120 for a lift ticket and, yeah. <laughs> and all that. And you got to work for your reward. Direct risk reward and work reward in surfing. While surfing is now a worldwide phenomenon, and even a job for many people, it hasn't always been this way. Surfing first began in the 1770s in Tahiti and Hawaii. Captain James Cook discovered surfing in both of these places while sailing. He visited the islands and made observations about how they interacted in the water. He watched as Tahitians rode the surf in canoes, letting the waves carry them on top. He also observed the first body surfing there. In Hawaii, people of all ages were standing up on boards and surfing. Their boards were made from three types of wood. For commoners, the surfboard sizes ranged from 2 to 12 feet, and chiefs often had boards as long as 24 feet. New advancements have been made as the demand and popularity of surfing has increased. Surfing became popular throughout the world, mostly through media like magazines and movies. Surf magazines have been around for a very long time. The first known surf-oriented publication was from Australia, published in 1917. Surf magazines have made up a huge contribution in making surfing more popular around the world. Surf magazines all share the news of big beautiful waves in different surfing cultures. Another big way that surfing was spread was through movies. Surf movies have been around for a very long time as well. They started becoming popular in the 1950s and 60s. Surf movies are one of the main reasons surfing and its culture started exploding through the world. All surf movies have a few things in common, like the beautiful blue waters and the lifetime of fun, and of course the amazing sense of freedom. Gidget and Endless Summer are both great examples of amazing movies that became worldwide sensations. These movies invite the public to an alternate reality of beautiful beaches and waves. Both of these movies compelled the public to go out and try the new sport, and within days, the beaches of California and Hawaii were packed with surfers. Soul Surfer and The Shallows are both more recent movies that not only portray surfing as a beautiful sport, but also the many dangers that come with it, and the dedication it takes to get back out there. Although there are many amazing things about surfing, there are always going to be dangers. The evolution of ocean and shark science, more specifically oceanology and marine biology, has made surfing safer and people more equipped and prepared to handle dangers in the ocean. Sharks and dangerous currents have been constant and deadly fears in every surfer's mind, but now oceanology and marine biology has evolved enough to show how feeding and breeding cycles affect the probability of attack. Along with evolutions in science, there have been scientific advancements in wetsuit and materialistic technology. The evolution of the wetsuit has made this trend an international passion. Without advances in wetsuit technology and structure, surfing would not be possible in places with cold climates because of hypothermia. These evolutions have added thermal insulation, shark safety, and water protection, and are continuing to make surfing safer and more enjoyable. It's gone up because of technology allowing people to get into bigger waves. So um, they've um, introduced personal watercrafts to get people into bigger waves, which is going to cause more danger. It's safer in a way because they can rescue you, but nobody would even attempt waves like that without a personal watercraft. Um, and the amount of surfers in the water is naturally going to bring up 
the danger because there's more people at risk because there's just more people in the water. Surfing has evolved from a simple riding of a wave to shredding and extreme tricks with risky consequences. New technology in surf apparel has driven surfers to find more thrilling stunts such as flips, jumps, and cliff jumping. Other formations of surfing have also opened up playing fields of whole new bunch of possibilities, like windsurfing, paddleboarding, and kite surfing. These innovations have targeted a larger audience and have drawn more people to surfing. Now people have more choice in the surfing experience. New boards and technology have helped expand surfing to all sorts of people throughout the population. The future of surfing is now upon us, as well as the new electric boards, so you don't even need a wave to surf. These advances have not yet become extremely popular, but they could easily become the new craze in surf technology. In some surfers' opinions, however, this new innovation defeats the purpose of surfing, because you are not working for your ride. Despite these few drawbacks to surfing today and the future of our surfing, this sport is still something that brings people together to form a community. Surfing has been around for many, many years, and if that has taught us anything, it is that it is an unforgettable experience regardless of what you are surfing on or where you are surfing.